Imagine, if you will, it's been a long, hard day at work. Simply plug in, kick back, and transport yourself to an idyll of your choosing. Perhaps you'll head to the tropics. Maybe you'll marvel at the views from America's west coast. And predictably, it's from here that the cinematic VR scene is taking root. With the first camera crew allowed inside the offices of Jaunt, a new Silicon Valley startup making virtual reality very real indeed. The team has painstakingly built a camera rig which allows them to faithfully recreate a filmed scene in full 360 degree video. The top of the bridge here is it's a different height, so we need to also correct for cameras being at slightly different angles. Using advanced software to stitch it all together, the clip can be fed to me in 3D through my headset, accompanied by simulated 3D sound. Though the pictures are a little fuzzy, I do feel incredibly immersed, temporarily able to suspend disbelief. This is all about creating a sense of presence, and I really do feel like I'm in this scene. And that's why it feels slightly strange that when I look down, I don't see my legs. That's very weird. What's the end game for this, do you think? Well, I think the end game is really this, uh, that people will spend part of their day sort of virtually teleported, if you will, play shifted, where, where they, uh, you know, maybe take a class online. They think about their vacation and they then say, oh, maybe I'll try that hotel. They, they put it on and now suddenly they're poolside that hotel. Unlike some of the other scenes that I've just witnessed where I'm just passively observing, there's an actual storyline going on here. I can see an alien appearing here. There's someone over there as well. And I have to confess, I'm not sure entirely where to look. VR presents many technical headaches too, and not just simulation sickness for users moving too quickly. Observers of the new medium say producing content also poses unique challenges. Because you're recording in 360 degrees, you're not able to move the camera, you're not able to have a place to hide the crew. Uh, so you need to uh, develop new cinematic uh, techniques in order to uh, tell the story that you want to tell. Which is precisely what they're doing at another Silicon Valley VR pioneer, Condition One. This is the maiden flight of its custom-built octocopter. It's carrying a prototype 360-degree camera rig. Not only does it solve the problem of having a crew on set, it also opens the doors to new frontiers entirely. Really, you want to explore the worlds you're in. And so we think it's really important to be able to move the camera through space, whether that's on an octocopter or a land-based drone, and give that sense of presence and immersion. Well, right now it feels like I'm being transported in a virtual chariot through the halls of uh, E3. It's quite amazing that I can see people in 3D in front of me. Condition One is using the footage in its forthcoming documentary, filmed in VR and fittingly about the history of the emerging art form. But in truth, this story is just beginning. And soon, it's one we may all be able to enjoy. Oh, quite a trip.